naked, I don't look naked. It's our last morning. We are headed to Naples. One last view of the Amalfi Coast. We're taking the bus. I'm getting waved down, it's time to go. We're here, we're in Naples. Check out this situation. So we are at the Grand Vesuvio in Naples. And then tomorrow we will be taking a train to Rome. It is like a full Italy situation. Wow, the breeze, the breeze came through. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Got like our own little table situation. Check out this view. Isn't that beautiful? I have no idea which direction Amalfi was in and how we came in, but it was it was quite a drive. It was about an hour drive from Amalfi Coast. So we just had lunch on the terrace right up there. So beautiful. So tonight we will adventure out and then tomorrow we will take the train to Rome. We're headed to the train station. We're leaving Naples. Yesterday was beautiful. We met up with Andre's mommy and we got some gelato and some nice dinner and some wonderful drinks. We had some martinis by the bar and some limoncello and oh, just all of the carbs. And we just finished breakfast. Now we are headed to the train station for a fancy train ride. We are in, we're in Rome right now. We just got off the train super quick, like seven minutes from the train station. We made it alive. They scared the crap out of us because they said that we would get pickpocketed in Naples, but apparently Rome is way more legit. I don't, I don't know, but I had a little bit of anxiety. I'm not going to lie. So this is our hotel. It's called the Tribune Hotel. T for Tribune, not for Trump. That's, I'm Canadian. I have no political views. Audrey's like, <laughs> sensitive subject. It's super cute though. It's very modern. I love the, the marble everywhere. I think I did good. This was my responsibility to book. And listen, the only thing that I look for when I book a hotel is a balcony, especially in Europe, because that's not easy to find. I can work out here. I can take my pictures. It's very pretty. So we're going to go find food. I'm excited. We will stay in Rome for a day and then after Rome, we are going to Orivieto, which is like a little, a little village, very, very old fashioned. So that'll be very cool. I'm sure there'll be great food. I'm honestly, I'm just driven by food. So Andre is, this is, this is my husband. He just, in a nutshell, lap, laptop first, laptop first. That's super cute out, though. Know. And we have a selfie mirror. Like there's a couple things that I love about a good hotel. Selfie mirror, bathtub. We don't have bathtub here, but I'll survive. Balcony, king size bed. Is that a thing? This is awkward. It's short, like even for me. Yeah, my feet hang off the edge of the beds here. I think I'm too tall to be European. So we're gonna go eat, hang out, probably edit some more videos. I've been uploading, but I've been doing pretty good, honestly. When there's good Wi-Fi, I edit my videos and I upload them. It takes me like a good couple hours to edit them and put them up, but I wanna compile everything while we're here and get you guys that stuff. And man, oh man, would I love some love on Instagram cause whew, that's not easy. On it, working on it. May or may not start a new fresh Instagram page just because you guys let me know your thoughts of how that could go. Start with zero, we'll see how it goes. You guys, for real, this is how I decided to fold my clothes. We are going from city to city, so I just folded everything in half and then I kind of rolled it. If you guys know the book, The Subtle Art of Tidying Up, it drives Andre crazy, but this is how I organize my closet. So I figured, put all my stuff, I can see where it is, it's not wrinkled, and then I'm good to go. are leaving Rome. Yesterday we did some shopping. I went to Kiko, which is my favorite makeup place in the world. Um, and it originated in 
Italy. It's from Milan, so there's like, it's everywhere here. So that's exciting. Um, and I got this little cute necklace from, what was the store called again? I don't remember. So, Sweet Benedict. That's so cute and i think they ship to the states um and i'm obsessed with the pom-poms look at the it's like unicorn colors i love it so right now we are just packing up we're gonna go get our car and we are going to drive andre's gonna drive us to orevieto i believe is how you say it it's like a little village so i don't think there's gonna be like a ton of shopping but there will be good food and there will be photo opportunities which makes my instagram happy and my tummy happy now we go. hotel this is I'll give you guys like the full tour I'll I guess I'll share all the footage that I took today we went to the pool we walked around the grounds this is an old monastery that um, what it what it was what was it so but it's an old monastery and there was like monks that lived here and uh, yeah it's like there's so much history so we are going to go down to the courtyard now for dinner I want my dress my Capri dress to have a moment because it didn't get its moment in Capri, I felt. So I'm excited for tonight's dinner. It has the, what's the name of the award? Michelin. The Michelin, star. the Michelin star? Michelin star, Andre said that that's good. And what what is it? It's like, it's actually by Michelin tire because they want people to drive. That's they how it was created. They found like good restaurants in remote places. In they Colorado. found good restaurants in remote places and they wanted people to like drive to those places. So this restaurant at this hotel we are literally in the middle of nowhere it's very very cool we drove up to the village today at the top of the mountain it was pretty wicked awesome so there's a ton of history here um and it's it's one of the most i don't know what would you call it like a place with, like so much character I'll, I'll give you guys a tour today so yesterday we had a beautiful dinner actually right in this courtyard here we right under that arch so that's where we had dinner Andre a little bit scared that there might have been ghosts no I'm just kidding he really wasn't so right now we're gonna go have a little cappuccino and we are gonna head to the castle in Gubbio so right now we're in Orivieto and it's beautiful yesterday we went to the village I'm whispering I'm trying to be respectful. So this has been really, really cool. I think this is one of my favorite hotels so far, but I'm pretty sure the castle is gonna beat it. See you guys later. So we are headed to uh, the castle. 
in Gubbio. And that is gonna be a vlog within itself because we're gonna be there for a couple days. Um, there is a gym, there's everything. We're gonna get like toured around there and given the full spiel of everything. So we are on our, we're gonna go check out, we're on our way there now, and we're gonna close out this vlog here. You guys had fun, where where have we been? We've been to Naples, and Rome, and Orvieto, and now we go to Gubbio. Bye guys. Bye.